And now, the special presentation. The Rugrats are going to Paris. <laughs> and Paris will never be the same. Here we go! Everyone's favorite characters are back in an all-new big screen adventure. <laughs> Join Tommy, Chucky, Phil and Lil, Angelica, Baby Dill, and the whole gang in a story that features exotic locations, thrilling action, and an all-star cast of voices playing an array of new characters. I think I just made a friend. Well, that's part of being in a Rugrats movie is that you know about it before anybody else, and you get to see how it's made. The story begins with a wedding. Our uh, grandpa gets a new dish. Lulu. Let's give a warm round of applause to our number one newlywed, Lou and Lulu Pickles. I just feel Lulu is very feisty and full of great character, and she's a young spirit. She kind of flirts with Lou, and uh, she enjoys the male company, so she says, let's hit it. I'm right behind you, sweet cakes. Yeah! And now, it's time for a special dance for all the kids and their moms. The wedding is a happy family occasion for everyone except Chucky, who realizes there's something missing from his life. The story of this movie is basically the quest for Chucky to find a mom. If your daddy gets a new wife, that means you get a new mommy. Wow! <laughs> but just as Chucky sets out to find a new mom, the Rugrats are invited on a trip. Tommy's father is summoned to Paris to repair this giant robot that's at Euro Reptar, which is a Japanese theme park in the middle of Paris. I've been waiting all my entire whole life to see this. Do you live in Reptar land? No, but I get to come here all the time. Cool. For the Rugrats, Reptar land offers a fantasy world of rides and attractions, but they also run into trouble when they encounter the conniving Coco Labouche. Thousands of children laughing, skipping, frolicking. <gasps> They disgust me. Coco Labouche is one of the all-time bad women, you know, and hates kids and lies and screams at everybody. What are you waiting for? Get off your dirty ass and get the show on the road! I love the fact that she's so outrageous and over the top. Ah! Where did those filthy little bookends come from? She's just bad in every way you could imagine, but she's a pretty sharp dresser. Jean-Claude! Tell me what the fool is responsible for this head challenge, amphibian! It's that gauche toy designer named Cucumber. No, Pickles. I've done the voice for Jean-Claude, who's Coco's lackey. I'll take care of it personally. Kira! Madame Le Bouge wants her Pickles, now! He's also very cynical and dry and sarcastic. Gives her a hard time. I see London, I see France, I see Coco's underpants. The unique look of the new characters in this film, along with the exotic backdrop of France, give the animators exciting new ways to expand their distinctive visual style. One of the great things with this story is that it's set in Paris. And Paris lends itself to incredible backgrounds. It's one of the most beautiful cities in the world. We're just trying to, to bring all that beautiful architecture and landscape into the movie. From the top? Yes, we're rolling. Music has always played a major role in the Rugrats. For this latest chapter, composer Mark Mothersbaugh is creating several new tracks. I think all of the characters have musical identities imprinted on them. I want a mom that will last forever. I'd be the one she was thinking of. Chucky, you know, he's, he's a scaredy cat. There's, I mean, any kid will tell you that. In this film, he, he has a fantasy that he's not a scaredy cat. Uh. And we wrote a song, Chucky Chan. Here comes Chucky Chan. Wow. He makes bad guys say they're sorry with the side of his hand. Because it's kind of a little bit like a kung fu fighting meets superfly. <laughs> 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 
There's a song called It's an Ooey Gooey World. So I'll be ooeying and gooeying, I'm sure. <laughs> it's a world of candy joy filled with happy girls and boys. It's a gooey gooey world. It's a ride and they're going through different sections of a different country. <laughs> BB, take one. All I knew was that I was a sumo wrestler singing Bad Girls, which I thought was just such a funny idea. They are all 300 pound sumo wrestlers singing backup harmony vocals at a karaoke bar. And they are singing along with Angelica, who's kind of a self styled bad girl in her own right. I never thought, being the 300-pound African-American man that I am, that I'd be a 900-pound Japanese man singing, <laughs> you know, bad girls. You know, it's something different. That last take was perfect. With original music, distinctive animation, lovable characters, and a compelling story, Rugrats in Paris will add a new chapter to the magical world of the Rugrats. We'll have action, uh, we'll have scariness, We'll have all the emotions you want in a movie. Hang on, you guys! The intention is just to delight them. That's gotta be one stinky diaper. It's gonna be fun for the audience to be introduced to this wild world of Perry. You're just as dumb over sneeze as you are at home. <laughs> Somebody got up on the wrong side of the bread.